This video gives a quick overview of the construction of the structural frame used for the building in this book. There are a number of concerns that need to be considered during the construction phase. For site preparation, this includes silt barriers to control runoff, fencing and marking trees and other ve vegetation, and generally organizing the site to minimize environmental impact during the construction process. Excavation means dust control and minimizing truck time for debris removal, setting up stockpile areas to recycle excavated earth or for backfill, grading, and topsoil, and setting up the worksite to isolate potential damage to adjacent habitats and properties. The foundation is primarily concerned with moisture control. This includes the proper installation of drainage and wa groundwater, uh, vapor barriers, and other systems to keep the building dry. The framing process, whether for concrete or steel, require careful coordination of safety and scheduling. The idea is to be as efficient as possible to uh, minimize waste, noise, and other environmental impacts. Roofing and the application of the waterproof membrane sealed the building from rain and moisture penetration. Installation usually involves high VOC chemicals that impose risk to workers and the environment, so extra caution needs to be taken. The shell of the building includes insulation and outsulation of the roof and walls. Insulation is embedded in the structure of the roof and walls Outside outsulation is a reflective surface on either the siding or the roof itself. Other materials include high efficiency glazing and generally sealing the building from weather penetration. Important is that as the building is sealed, the interior space begins to trap VOCs, dust, smoke, and moisture generated during the construction of the inside of the building. In other words, once sealed, the building becomes an unsupported and unventilated indoor environment. 